Hey everyone, it's Venom. Most of the advice we talk about for Echo focuses on what to do within the arena, but today we're going to discuss some accessories you can add to your arsenal that will take your competitive skill to the next level. If you are new to the sport and are interested in getting comp ready, this one should provide some guidance. So let's get into the top accessories for Echo Arena. We're going to start off with the sponsored product for this video, VR Wave Prescription Lenses. In the arena, awareness is everything, which means being able to see clearly downfield and read player names for callouts. Unfortunately, those who choose to wear their eyeglasses within the headset may begin to notice abrasions on both their headset and their eyeglass lenses right in their line of sight. These can be permanent and costly to replace. Now, prescription lenses for VR headsets have been around for a while, but VR Wave is doing things a bit differently. Rather than a time-consuming installation process of removing and replacing the standard lenses, VR Wave has changed the game with magnetic clips that hold the lenses in place. For players who share their headsets with friends or family members, the ability to quickly switch out the lenses is a huge plus. Additionally, they have options for blue light filters and anti-glare. The only con that I notice with these lenses is that the magnetic adapters can be a bit bulky and put pressure on the bridge of your nose. This was for the most part nullified by using the Quest 2 facial interface extender, and VR Wave also just released a synthetic leather cover for the Quest 2 that should help prevent your nose from touching the magnetic clips. If you are interested in picking up a set, there's a link in the video description to their store. Be sure to use code VENOM during checkout for 5% off your purchase. Grips have been an essential part of my Echo experience for a few years now, and honestly it would be difficult to go back to just standard controllers. Most of their value comes during competitive play where the plastic can become slippery as your hands begin to sweat. I've also appreciated the trend of adding straps to the back of your hand, which allow the ability to relax and even release the controllers when taking a break. The only cons that I can think of that come with these is that they can restrict your wrist flick mobility and may be difficult to install or replace your batteries. If you're looking for a recommendation, I have tried a few, but landed on Mammoth as my favorite controller grip brand. React. While this video is supposed to be about physical accessories for your headset, React is an application I just couldn't leave out. This app was developed for athletic mental performance training and I believe succeeds in doing exactly that. While it is a bit costly at $19.99, I do jump in here to practice my hand-eye coordination and awareness. For goalkeepers looking for ways to practice taking shots, this may be a good option until Rad creates some kind of in-game trainer. I also have heard that Beat Saber can help with this kind of training, but I would like to see more of development of applications that focus on these sorts of skills come to VR. This accessory might be the most crucial for Echo Arena players. Playspace mats are not just used as a comfortable place to stand in your room, but can be the lifeline that protects your TV, walls, controller, and even your own hands. I've talked before about the value I found in Proximat, but the protection can be done simply with some foam puzzle mats. The only issue I found with these is that because of how light they are, they do move around quite a bit, so taping them down is almost necessary. The weight and grips on Proximat do a great job for both hardwood and carpet, which allows it to be easily put away after a play session. If there's one thing for certain, you'll notice how quickly you can build up a sweat when competing in the arena. I remember when I first got my CV1 and how the standard foam soaked up sweat and over time developed a bit of an odor. Facial covers are great for hygiene, especially if you share a headset, and may help prevent skin irritation. While I've not taken a poll over this, I generally believe that cloth, artificial leather, and silicone are more comfortable than the default foam. For Echo, I am more of a fan of cloth covers since they still absorb sweat and can be easily washed later. I found the silicone ones, while easy to clean, tend to just drip sweat, which can end up on the lenses and affect your view. Lastly, I also noticed a decrease in lens fogging after switching to cloth covers. Again, no scientific evidence that this is supposed to be a byproduct of the cover, but I believe it did have an impact on my lens fog. For those of you with Quest 2s, I would recommend checking in to see if your headset qualifies for the free VR cover replacement, which is the brand of cover that I've used with my headsets, and you can find a link below in the description. These may not be a necessity for the arena, but I do think a good set of headphones is a great addition for your headset. While the built-in speakers work fine, they do tend to bleed out important sound. Using a good pair of headphones will help you become more aware of the audio cues around you, like hearing an opponent's thruster approaching from behind, or being able to hear callouts from all over the arena. Now I play on a CV1, so I don't have the luxury of an aux port on my headset. I've had to test out a few different brands and struggled at times with sound latency. I ended up landing on a pair of Lucid Sound LS41s that are light, 
they've got a comfortable head strap, and the ear cups have cooling gel, which is great for long play sessions. However, with the Quest 2 being aux capable, any over ear or in ear headphones should do just fine with a 6 to 7 inch cable. For me, the Quest 2 is one of the most amazing headsets brought to market. Being wireless is a freeing experience in the arena, however, there have been some disappointments like the head strap comfortability and battery life. Reaching the top ranks in Echo Leagues will require a lot of time in the arena, and an uncomfortable head strap may hinder that. So rather than fighting through, I would recommend finding something more comfortable than the one that it came with. While I use the Elite Strap with Battery Pack, there are others that are more affordable out there. Additionally, battery packs are a good investment. Pretty much any team Platinum and up will require a two-set minimum for scrims, and having a headset die in the middle of a game can be frustrating for both parties. It can take a lot of time to schedule scrims, so having the ability to play them to completion is a must. Rechargeable AA batteries are also a good investment as this game can really burn through controller battery life. So those are my top accessories for Echo Arena. Let me know in the comments if there are any more that you think would be great additions to this list. I look forward to hearing from you all, and I'll see you in the arena.